Hi all, it's Shannon from Smilicious Soaps, back again for my third soap today. This one is Moonlight Path, and I'm just going to go run over and grab my lye solution. Oh no, it's right there. I just need to get my strainer. And we are on our way. And so I've already got my milks and my clay in here. Getting ready to put in my lye solution, which is aloe, water, and... Tessa Silk. And you will notice that I've got different gloves on. And if you didn't notice, then I guess you probably do now. Um, the other ones had um, wet soap in there, and it was irritating. I gave myself a lye burn on this finger, or this knuckle right here. It was kind of nasty. Anyway. So now I'm going to go ahead, I find it hard to get a grip on this thing. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to put in my fragrance oil. Like I said before, this one's Moonlight Path. Hang on, I'm just going to clean off my gloves real quick. Got a little bit of oil on there. Maybe that'll help just a little bit. Alright, so Moonlight Path in there. And from what I remember from the first time I soaked this, which was the only other time I've soaked this, that it was a uh, very nice to soap with. I mean, it doesn't act up or anything. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of white because I want all these colors to be kind of pastel. split off and do some colors and um, depending on if the fragrance stays nice I am going to try to do um, an in the pot swirl uh, with a tiger stripe what uh, Melissa um, tries to name the Shen swirl but it, you know it is what it is anyway so here we go off so that I can add my colors. I'm doing two different color blue and a, a green. Oops, that one had a little bit too much in there. There we go. Alright, let me just move this over. Try for the green first. I do like that a whole lot. It's just a very, very pale green. I am just going to add a smidgen 
of this lab color. And by a smidgen, I mean it. I don't want to put too much in there. I just want it to be a very pale green. Okay. So there's that. And then we've got our light blue. This is um, peacock blue from the conservatory. Last one is electric blue from the conservatory. I'm going to give these a quick whiz. However, I'm going to add a little bit more of this green here. Very nice. Alrighty. So let's get this show on the road. I'm not going to give that a quick whiz. I think those are fine. I'm going to give them a whiz anyway. colors and I am going to do a quick in the pot swirl with these so I'm going to pour in I think all of this one and I'll pour in the other two with it where did my scraper this smells so good. I love Moonlight Path. Just saving a little bit of this for the top. Of each of these colors, these two. All right, so I'm just gonna do a real quick run like that. And that is it. Now we shall do the tiger stripe. Mold. Here we go. Alrighty. So now I'm just going to pour a really, whoops, I'm going to move this real quick. There we go. A thin line.
know it's a little bit boring. I'm not even talking about anything. I'm just so happy to be back to soaping. I haven't done it in a while. And I always miss it when I don't get to soap, so I'm just thrilled to be able to. I've been really, really busy with farmers markets and craft fairs and and then the kids are starting school again soon, which will be really nice because then I'll have even more time to soap. But of course I'm going to miss my little munchkins when they're away. I always do. Okay, so I'm going to just do one more stripe with my colors and then I'm going to cover the top with the base good thing too because I don't have much of this left. But whatever I do have left I will do for samples. Alright, so now I'm just going to cover the top. With my base. I'm not trying to be perfect with it or anything. drizzle of my colors that I have left over so that I can do a swirl. All right, I kind of like that. I think we shall leave it be. Just do a little bit of okay. And there we have Moonlight Path. And I am going to do a little bit of purple glitter on the top. get out of the way. Moonlight path. Alright, thank you all for watching today and I will see you next time when I get ready to unmold and cut these. Alright, bye!